Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editor X. Today we will learn how to open a light box from database. Uh, what I mean by open a light box from database. So you can see in this example here I have a repeater that is connected to my database. I have a database called projects and here you can see all my projects. Okay, so I have some hover interaction and here you can see the project name. Here, for example, it's one, this is two, this is three. All right. And in addition, I have a button which display the year of this project. So this one is uh, 2022 and this one is 80, right? So the difference between uh these two buttons is when i click on on this button of 2022 so it open a light box and display all in this specific case i i i choose to display here all um all the projects that i that i created in this specific year okay and if i click on the 18 uh, button I will get I will open different light box which is displaying the 2018 uh, projects okay and of course if I directly click on 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 the image I will go to the dynamic page okay of this project okay so I create this flow just to see a, 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 a real use case of why I want to display, why I want to open two different light boxes uh, from the repeater. Okay, so let's jump to the editor, and I want to show you my database and why we why it's it's a real uh, need. Okay, so this is all my projects, and this is the the, the repeater is connected to this data database. Okay. So of course you are all familiar with the dynamic link, okay? So each image or each item, when I click on it, I go to a specific page, same layout, different data, right? This one, this column. Uh, this one is the um, is the index page, right? which we don't care about it right now. Um, and of course there is uh, a field that we can um, we can add link, right? I can, it's the type of this field is link. So I can basically, uh, for example, copy this site link and put like right here. Okay. And we, it will open a page, uh, another page. It can be anything, but we don't have an option to connect um, a specific field to open a specific light box, right? Uh, when, when we're talking about repeater. So the so my solution is to create another field, a uh, text field called light box to open. You can see that the field type is text and the name I gave it is light box to open. Okay. Uh, and I'm not using it uh, it, when I'm connecting the repeater. So you can see right here, this repeater is connected to this data set, the portfolio data set. And the image is, is connected to the image. The project name is connected to the title of the project. But this button is connected to the year. I have a field uh, that is called year. And it display the year I create this project. Okay, so you can see like project number one. I have, I don't have project number one. I deleted maybe by mistake. Anyway, project number two is 2022 and here it's 2028, all, all I mean, it's kind of a half. So the button labeled is connected to this field. As you can see right here, the label connected to the year. 
Okay, so everything is great, but I need to get different behavior when I click on the 2022 or the 2028, right? Um, so, I forgot what I wanted to say. So, of course, I, I created two different light boxes. You can see it in the pages. This is the light box for, uh, for 2022 projects. And I have another one for a different year. Okay, so I can create like multiple of them. So if I open the light box, I, uh, one of them, so you can see I have here another uh, data set that is connected to another repeater inside the light box. And, but the unique thing here is that to this portfolio, uh, for this portfolio data set, I have, I set a filter that is display only where the year value is equals to 2022. Okay. So this is why I get here only, uh, the specific year projects. And actually I duplicate this light box and just changing the filter and, and the title here. Okay. So I get here different data. So this is the, 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 the things I did, uh, in advance to be able to open two different light boxes. Okay. But now how can I, um, how, how can I set that this particular year will open a, a specific um, light box okay so we need some value for for it but it's super simple okay so first of all we need to remember that we create a new field um, that is called light box to open and in my example you can see that here light box to open and I have some value here Okay, so I have here 2018 projects. Okay, so where from where I get this name? So basically, this is the light box name. So if I go to the light box, you can see this is the naming of the light boxes. So I don't use the 2022 yet. So all I need to do, I can copy this value and I go back to my database and I will put this value where I want to open the 2022. Um, I will drag it next to the next to the year. So I know exactly which, what, which year it needs to open, which, uh, each, um, uh, light box. So all the 2022 should open. This is the name of the light box. All right. So simply I just copy pasting and then I will do same for all the rest. All right. So I have two kinds of repeater, two kinds of naming. So now let's jump to the code. All right. So first of all, I need to get to give a proper name to the, the repeater. So I, we know exactly what I'm doing. So I called it projects repeater. Okay. So let's see the code. What it, what it doing? It's super simple. Okay. So I have here a function in it repeater. Actually I should call it projects, but I don't, I, I, I don't know what, uh, they use in your project. So in your website, so I didn't give a specific name here. But anyway, give here like a meaningful name. So init repeater, what it does basically because my repeater is connected to a data to to database. So we have this event that says basically projects repeater on item ready when when the item getting new data. Okay, so here we can do something. Okay. But this code is running for each item. Okay. So basically I'm, we are asking if item data 
plate box to open okay if I have this value okay so actually this is good to show what happened if I don't have uh, any value there okay so let's remove the first value so let's clear this one all right so remember that the number two project it doesn't have value in the light box to open so let's go back to the code I want to go back to the code but okay so if we have this va if we have this field okay if we have some value here so what we are doing so we selecting the button okay the the projects here button this is the ID of this button if I select it and reopen you see project here button so item project here button on click when we click on this button what do we know we need to do uh, Wix window open light box right so we must to import the Wix window uh, to use this function to open a light box so we want to open a light box but which light box we want to open so basically it's the value in this field so I pass this value inside the open light box because it's expecting to get the light box name the, you, you don't need the then but I just uh, put the then to understand that the light box was open okay so super simple so let's publish the site and let's go to the live site remember that the first one should open uh, should should do nothing okay so let's open the console to see so when I click on this button I get nothing but if I click on this the third uh, project so see what's happened I get the 2022 projects this is working this the, the fourth one also but let's jump to the to this year and it's working right two different uh, light boxes so basically that's it you can copy the code from here but now let's create a new one just for practicing okay so okay reset right so what do we need to do first of all we need to create a new repeater right so let's select um, this one let's duplicate it let's change the name to uh, let's say uh, 2015 okay so let's change the name here so we will understand which light box we are talking about and of course we need to change the filter in this data set you don't need to do it in your project it's specific to my project so 2015 so right now I should get nothing here because I don't have any project that it's inside the 2015 so let's see you can see I don't really have something here um, and let's change the background so we will see exactly that we are talking about different light box all right so the name is 2015 projects so let's copy it and let's jump to our collection and now let's check the first one I will set to open the 2015 projects and I, of course I need to change the year and let's change a few more so this one and this one and this one so we will get some data inside the repeater so of course we need to update also the light box to open oh sorry
All right. So now let's publish the site. Oh wait, I need to remove the trigger, I guess. No, it's okay. All right. Great. 2015. Clicking. We are getting the right one. Amazing. 2022. Working. 18. also working okay so that's it super simple copy the code create the light box you you, you need um, add new field to the, your collection you can give it um, uh, give it same name if you want the, the code to work like smoothly without uh, actually I did I forgot to mention this name this key this is the key I used in the code the light box to open okay um, so that's it pretty simple right all right so that's it for now uh, and until next time keep building amazing sites on editor 8